Hey, what's up everybody? It's Rex here with Carpentry Plus. And today we are getting started on a new built-in project. This is a large uh, office built-in, a big desk, upper cabinets. It's going to be a total of 12 foot, 8 inches wide and 11 foot ceilings and have a big uh, T-shaped peninsula desk coming out. Uh, I'm really excited about it. Um, and I thought we would try to um, share the process from the design stage all the way to the completed installation. And instead of just doing one video, trying to cram all into one video, we're going to break this down into all the different processes that we go through to get from the start to the finish. Uh, so today's video is going to focus on the design um, and the planning. And then our next video, we'll get into um, actually process of materials and so on and so forth. So without um, any further ado, we'll get into the, some of these uh, design drawings and uh, planning. All right, here we are with a 2D drawing. All of our designing will start with a 2D drawing to get an idea of the uh, scale of the space. Kind of see how things are looking from there. We'll convert that to a 3D rendering, basically add color and pull it all out to 3D. Here's a better look at that 3D rendering. This is such a cool feature and a great tool for showing the clients what their project will look like. All right, moving on from our renderings, We'll take those and we'll make diagrams of each of the cabinets, complete with dimensions. And I actually also like to color code the different parts so that I know, um, for example, uh, yellow are our standard inch and a half face frame material. And then the different colors um, signify different sizes for various reasons. Uh, if anything else, it, uh, just tells you, hey, this is a different size. So check the dimensions, check for that detail. It also makes it a little bit easier to see. Um, it's pretty, it can get confusing once you start putting these dimension lines on there on the what's the actual part of the cabinet and what's, what's not. So color coding the actual drawings kind of helps keep things uh, visually easier to see and easier to focus on. All right, then once we have all of our diagrams, we'll convert those to cut lists. So I actually handwrite all these cut lists just using the spreadsheet app. Um, I think I'm using numbers on my laptop. Um, and we'll write out, so these are face frames. These are cabinet boxes. I've got doors and then a list of our drawers over there. Um, so here on the face frames, you can see we've got a quantity list, a width, a length, and then I've got this action column, which tells you what we're doing to that piece, whether it's a dado, a lock miter, or a PS for pocket screws. Okay, we see that same kind of general theme over here on the cabinet boxes. We've got our quantity, our width, our length, and our action. So we're um, sometimes not doing anything. Sometimes we're pocket screwing three sides or four sides or two sides or whatever the case may be. It's outlined there on the cut list. Uh, similarly with our doors, we've got our width, uh, height or length, and then the action column. You know, some of them are getting a groove only. Some of them are getting a groove and a cope. So just a little detail I like to add to the cut lists to uh, simplify the process. All right, folks, so that was a quick look at our design process. Now we go from the initial design stage through our drawings and our cut lists to where we're ready to start sawing wood. Um, I wanted to mention um, I'm using SketchUp for all my drawing, um, SketchUp Pro. I am by no means a pro at it, but it does give me what I need um, with my abilities to be able to go from paper to actual product in the shop. So um, again, 
Thanks for watching and hope you find it useful and uh, stay tuned for our next uh, video in the series. Thanks.